Hello and uh, welcome to another reaction with me, Will. Today we're going to be listening to Like Crazy by Jimin from his recently released album Face. This has been trending recently on the YouTube homepage, so I thought we would give it a listen. If you are new here, I have my piano in front of me. I'm going to likely be playing along with some bits of the song and kind of talking through it as we have a listen. Anything that I do play on the piano, it's just meant to be a light-hearted alternative way of, of playing things. It's not meant to be an improvement on the original song in any way at all. It's just a bit of fun. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into listen to it. Yo, this is an incredibly different start to Set Me Free Part 2, isn't it? Uh, the acoustic guitar reminds me a lot of, um, oh, what's his name? Antonio Carlos Jobim, the um, bossa nova style of music. If you ever listen to the beginning of Desfinado, for some reason the guitar is reminding me of, of that. Feel free to check it out. But yeah, so far, very, very different feel to what I expected. Very happy to keep listening. Very quick, a uh, huge shout out to the person that mentioned using closed captions for this before. Stupidly, I hadn't thought of it, and it helps enormously with these lyrics. So, huge shout out to you. Very, very different instrumentation also to that um, Set Me Free part two. So we've got, I'm going to say an 80s sounding piece in a lot of way, 80s instrumentation at least with the synthesizers and the electronic sounding drum kit. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the drums and percussion you might hear on like synth wave or chill wave tracks here on YouTube. It's kind of an alternate to lo-fi music. It's a very, very nice sound. Um, I enjoy the sound of the snare quite a lot. I think it's got a really good pop to it. Yeah, the message of this song seems very, very, different. It's more like a love story and being afraid to let go and give yourself to a relationship. I didn't know what to expect coming into this, but I'm really enjoying it so far, especially the instrumentation. I think it sounds really, really nice. So I feel like this might be the, the chorus here, so I might try and like wheel it back a sec and play along. Really nice hook, great melody for a chorus. The feel of this, I just can't get over how different it is to that Set Me Free piece. It, it shows really good artistic ability to have such a different message within the same album from the same artist. Really cool. I'm loving the surreal aspect of the music video, kind of the dreamlike state Jimin seems to be in in the middle of the floor. Uh, I think after uh, imbibing in some alcohol and the stuff coming down from the walls as well in this bit here. I like that kind of augmented or distorted reality in videos. I think it's quite exciting. Um, it's one of the things that drew me into the film. What's it? I think it's Inception many years ago, you know, when he had like the buildings folding on top of each other. Let me know in the comments if you, if you know what I'm talking about. That might be way too old for a lot of you. I say old, I think I'm the same age as Jimin, which is crazy. Look how good this guy looks. <laughs> it's like he's barely aged. I like this, we've got a break in after the chorus here with a synth line coming in. So let's let's try and learn this. Hey. Oh, 
Oh, and then we've got some quite rapid notes in this synth part here that I'd like to try and figure out real quick. I think it's that. Let's have a go. Back to the verse. I really like that the use of uh, different sounding synths and synthesizers there. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with a lot of 80s music, uh, I can't recommend giving it a listen enough. If you enjoy this piece of music, I think you get a real kick out of it. It's a lot of really, really good stuff there. Anyway, we're back to the verse. Let's keep listening. Back to what sounds more like the chorusy part again. So let's try and play along with a bit of this just for fun. like this rising melody here. Let's try and play along with that, so. Let's take it back a sec. Cool, it's talking about that dream state, being in love with someone, spending time with someone you love. This is really cool. Uh, a di once again, a different melody being introduced, which I love. Um, let's see if we can play this one, what it sounds like on piano. Yeah, great use of variation in that melody. It's creating a bit of a climax in the song, which is excellent because the instrumentation, it would be a bit odd if loads of things were added in now. So the melody is kind of being a bit more complicated using a bit more range going up to this note, which has a certain intensity to, to, to the song. So that, that, I guess, the stronger the feelings are getting, that's kind of what's being translated here. So that kind of stretch and range is that stretch and emotion, I believe. <sighs> Nice. I love those chords that we began and end with. They kind of like um, bookstop the piece, like one at the beginning, one at the end, holding it together. Really nice. I, I, I like the energy of this piece. I know it's completely different to set me free in terms of the vibe of it all, um, but I really enjoy this. I think this is a very good, easy listen. I think this is quite suitable for spring dash going into summer. Um, in terms of sound and like the mood it's conveying. I don't want to start a war in the comments, but I'd love to know which song of the mini album you guys prefer so far. So put it down below. Uh, I'd love to have a read and any reasons why as well. I think that's important because they are, as I said, two completely different songs. But yeah, I think that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment if there's anything you'd like me to react to or play along with next. And yeah, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.